Hey everyone, I'm about to do something that I've been wanting to do for about uh, a minimum of 10 years, probably 20 years, and the truth about it is I'm really scared and fearful about doing it, but today's the day. And what I'm really scared about is if what I'm going to do is going to somehow make me less of a person, less important, am I going to fall into some sort of deficit? Will my thinking change about myself? I guess part of the reason I'm doing it is I actually want to know the truth about myself, who I really am, and whether I'm actually my accoutrements, my stuff. So who am I really? My brother, father, son, colleague, friend, confidant to others? And my, my career achievements, my sporting achievements, my educational achievements? And my bag of skin carrying around litres and litres of water? And what about the random, unpatterned events in my life? How have they shaped me and what do they mean? And how am I attached to the events of my life? Events that happened yesterday, events that happened 25 years ago. What do they say about me? What do they think they say about me? And why do I hold on to flotsam and jetsam and artifacts from decades ago? How do I see myself through these artefacts? How do these artefacts represent who I really am? And are they part of the random unpatterned events, the unplanned events, the relationships that have come and gone, the money that has come and gone, the friendships, the jobs, the experiences that have come and gone? Am I okay without all that stuff? that remind me about my history. And why do I want to be reminded about it? What does it actually mean? Is it so important that I define myself by it? Do I think I am my history? What a distinct direction are you heading? You see me waiting, losing. I'm losing ground with every long distance sound. This tub is full of assignments and papers from a degree, a master's degree, I finished 20 years ago. This is actually the thesis. It's about usability, human-computer interaction to be. All this stuff are all my assignments done over three years, part-time. So here there's like, let's assume 20 hours a week, 20 to 30 hours a week. I'm going to throw this out today. Financial management, assignment notes. Finance and accounting, wow. Marketing channels and pricing strategies. Corporate strategy, marketing, learning organizations. A lot of stuff on strategy. International business. What does all this say about me? Am I smart? Am I not so smart? Okay, here's my bin. My tub's here. The first piece of. You know, my life is made up of a series of short novellas, a sequence of short stories that are all kind of linked together on a continuum and each novella butts up against the next one of next one and next one and this is the continuum of my life. And 
some of it's related and some of it's not. Or maybe the question is what am I actually gaining here? Is it freedom? Freedom from what my ego thinks is important. Maybe humility, maybe I'm losing some vanity. And even though this has been in a tub for 20 years and hasn't been open, there's a sense that I have some sort of control just because I classified, kept and dragged this around with me. You know, when I die, if I was to die tomorrow, you know, under the 417 bus from Canberra to Queanbeyan, flick through it for five minutes and then do exactly what I'm doing now. This is the papers from just one assignment, right? Look at that. That's like 500 A4 pages. And to be clear, I'm really grateful for the education and the opportunities. But the intellect is just a part of who I really am. And I don't want to underplay the role of the intellect and rationality, but I don't want to overplay it either and think this is the sum extent of somehow my life. And it must, you know, the fact that I've carted this around it. I realise that I'm something deeper and broader than... I think beyond this there's an amnes which is more and more meaningful than the I, the egocentric I, that created a lot of this. There's an amnes, a knowingness that there's something beyond this the five, and this is what this represents. It represents the intellect and the five senses that go with that. You know, it represents thinkingness. And thinkingness is great as far as it goes, but I want to get to whatever is the real meaning of life beyond this stuff. I suppose what I'm interested in in a sentence is experiencing, experiencing on a more regular basis, the interconnected of all, interconnectedness of all it is. It's letting go. It's letting go and finding the true essence. This is the last bit that's got to go. Done. Well, Bin is going from the garage back to the Bin enclosure. I'll keep on waiting. It, it feels okay, but I'm still a bit scared. And I think, um, I think it'll be okay. Oh, oh, oh. And what if I did the same to you?